global rising, that is true. But there is something that we can do. Protect the mangrove, the red and black mangrove. The mangrove that you see all about helps to keep the sea water out. Protect the mangrove, look after the mangrove. Ease up on the cattle grazing, cut out the garbage dumping, cut out the mangrove burning. Protect the mangrove, look after the mangrove. Protect the mangrove now. So we're at number six beach here today, and we have some planting activities that are occurring. Beside me, I have some mangrove seedlings to be planted. The required height that we usually use is 14 inches, and so far we have planted 15,080 seedlings. Daily, we have about 20 persons that we plant, and they will plant 75 seedlings each. I work in close association with the project coordinator and with the rangers in ensuring that the quality of the seedlings that are planted are at the regulated standard. And additionally, I make regular visits to our seedling contractors and to our replanting sites. I'm one of the mangroves contractor, and these are some of my seedlings. I uh, already give some to the planters and this will remain. It's like 2,300 remain. Basically, how we go about growing a mangrove, we have to go and have the seeds from the seashore or the trees nearby. Then we set them in the grout. We get the mud, put it in the bag, plant it and Keep them for like four months, water them twice a day and give them a lot of shade for the forest so that they could be able to catch up and keep on growing. This is a typical uh, section of riprap sea defense. Riprap sea defenses is a design uh, which is very flexible, which uh, is basically consisting of an earthen embankment with um, sand, a geotextile material, which is a very uh, thick uh, material. Uh, on top of that, we put um, one to two feet of armor rock, which is made with smaller rocks. And on top of that, larger rocks uh, of sizes depending on the wave action that you uh, anticipate in the area. This is kind of the Mercedes version of uh, sea defenses and it will have a lifespan of 40, 50, 60 uh, years. The European Union through the GCA recognized the immense value of mangroves and protecting mangroves um, contributing to our sea defense uh, sector and that is what gave birth to the Guyana Mangrove Restoration Project. And in 2010, um, the government, to show its deep commitment to this project, um, made the first set of monies available, 100 million Guyana dollars, which in, in itself was a good uh, demonstration that, look, we're committed, we're not gonna wait until the EU money is released, we will start by making the financing available. we had at this organization was funded by the European Union and from then we started to move on, we started to progress because we get into the um, know-how how to write project documents, we get into the know-how that there are agencies out there willing to help us and being primarily and predominantly a woman organization, we appreciated that kind of input into our organization. Mm -hmm. 